What's going on guys, it's the Saints and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox. This is a series where you guys ask questions, either about GTA or just gaming in general, and I give you guys some answers or my opinions. And if you want to ask a question for next week's episode, let me know in the comment section. Also, really quick, I'm curious to hear, just because GTA has been out for about two weeks now, how are you liking the game, and how are you liking online, single player? I think about now the honeymoon stage is a little bit worn off, so let me know what you think. And are you still going to be playing it? Because, I mean, there's not too many other games out right now that are worth playing, in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'm interested to hear. But anyway, getting right into the first question, we have Himinator, why? And he says, do you think it would be good to have 16-person servers like last gen, but since there's less players to deal with, they could add wildlife and more traffic and so on. That is something interesting. I know I've tweeted about this, and for some reason, whenever I talk about stuff like this, stuff that could be in the game that's not, a lot of people think that I'm complaining. And, you know, okay, maybe I am complaining a little bit, but I just want to see the game be the best possible version it can be. Like, what... Is there something wrong with wanting that? I don't know. But getting into your question, you know, I've been saying this from the start. I think Rockstar should have, a, a, like, a little menu screen before you actually go into online. And you can choose, you know, what type of server you want. Whether it will be a 30-man server if you want the chaos that that involves. Or a 16-man server. Now, let's just not include animals, more traffic. And so I'll just have 16 players as it is. I think people, you know, some people would like that because they don't want as much chaos. Because 30 people in a server... It gets pretty hectic, you know, people are exploding things, everybody killing each other. So 16 players, you know, I think some people would like that. Now, as for the whole animals and wildlife, we were kind of, I was kind of tweeting about that a little bit uh, a couple days ago, talking about, you know, if people would rather a 30-man server with no wildlife or a 16-man server with, you know, some animals sprinkled in. And a lot of people said that they would rather 16-man server with animals. I think it's just the, the whole animals part people want to see. And I actually got corrected in one of my videos. I said, I don't, you know, something about the hardware not being able to handle animals, but it's actually not the hardware. Apparently the hardware can, it's just the connections. And, and basically online is not like single player where you're, you know, one person and like the world doesn't need to worry about spawning stuff on the other side of the map because you're like, say you're in the city, it doesn't need to worry about spawning stuff out in the country where in online you could have one person in the city and then you also might have one person out, you know, in the uh, country area. So, you, you know, it has to spawn all the animals, all the pedestrians, all the cars. And apparently it's the network that just, it's too much for the network to handle or something like that. It would cause a lot of lag. Now, whether or not that's true, not sure. But that's just what I've seen on a forum post. I think it definitely should still be possible, you know, if they were to do it. Because I think a lot of people would rather, like, say, turn down the traffic or turn down the pedestrians a little bit and throw in some animals. You know, I'd rather have... You know, say 75 people and 25 animals than just 100 people, you know, just for example. So, I don't know. Uh, but I, I definitely think there should be some options into online, like, before you go into it. I mean, I'm still waiting for that no-cop lobby mode. So, uh, you know, it makes it easier for us YouTubers to record videos. But, you know, who knows if that's ever going to happen. But let me know your thoughts on that uh, question as well. Moving on to the next, and this isn't really a question, it's more of a statement. Mark, he says, I think the reason why they put everything in single player was to tease us and then put it in DLCs so that people can buy shark cards to get all the stuff that was in single player when they put it online. This is, you know, it's a good assumption. I think it was definitely really stupid for them to, like, market and advertise all this stuff that is just single player exclusive that could easily be implemented online, like the libraries on the cars and... You know, I guess maybe the blimp to an extent, you know, I, th I still think that should be like a Pegasus vehicle. But I'm hoping it's going to come as DLC. And maybe that's some of the new stuff that they are going to do. Because obviously, they're going to have to come up with DLCs for, you know, the next year or two, if not more than that. So, they definitely need some ideas and maybe they're going to use this as some of them. But yeah, it's a good assumption. Hopefully it happens, because I definitely want to see that stuff online. Moving on to the third question, we have American Gangster who says, Do you think Rockstar will make an animal DLC and give us tools such as binoculars, bow and arrows, and other useful tools? Um, this is <laughs> it's a little bit far-fetched. Uh, I would definitely love an animal DLC. Maybe they're still working on, like, the coding and stuff. Like I said, the network couldn't really handle it. You know, maybe that's one of the reasons, so maybe they're still working on that. And, hey, I would love an animal DLC. <laughs> uh, as for binoculars, though, I mean, hey, that'd be pretty interesting to have. It'd be pretty cool to use in some of our videos as like a prop or something, a bow and arrow, uh, I don't know if that'd be in, in GTA, it's more of like a Red Dead thing, but uh, but yeah, I mean like, uh, any, any animal DLC, I I'm welcome to, because then I can actually use the freaking Kraken sub I bought for 1.3 million dollars, 
So yeah, man. I uh, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, next one from Chris. He says, "Are you going to play with fans more?" Um, actually, I do play with a lot of you guys on Twitch. That's kind of where I like interact with you guys. Play a lot of games like the Armageddon's, the Busted, uh, the races and things like that. The 30 man races, especially. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, go ahead in the description. It's one of the links in the description. It says obviously like my Twitch channel. Go over there. I try to live stream every night. Obviously, some nights things get in the way but yeah it's pretty fun time so definitely if you want to play definitely go over there and then finally the last question from Ricky he says what do you think you'll be covering once GTA 5 has ran its course will you be covering the next Red Dead or the next GTA love the bit so the reason I brought this question up is because I want to ask you guys another question I know it seems like I've asked you guys more questions than you guys have asked me but but no so apparently there's been some rumors that Red Dead whatever the next one is is gonna be announced next year I don't know if it's going to come out next year, but it may be announced. Hopefully that's true. I would love to see. I think everybody would love to see a Red Dead. And look, of, of course, I'm going to be covering Red Dead. Any Rockstar game pretty much in the future, I'm going to be covering because Rockstar makes amazing games. And there's actually been some other big rumors coming out today regarding the Elder Scrolls 6. Many of you guys know Skyrim. That's Elder Scrolls 5. Well, the, the next game in that series potentially may be announced, they said, in December. I don't know about that. I mean, it seems a little little close but you never know that game I, I mean look any Bethesda game I love but there's Elder Scrolls 6 and then there's Fallout 4 like those three big games or those two big games in addition to Red Dead and then look GTA 5 you know especially on PC it's gonna last for a while with mods so those are like the big four games that I am really excited for that I definitely will be covering I mean look there's obviously gonna be a couple other games sprinkled in hopefully the division does good but honestly I think those four games are the ones that that are gonna last the longest because if you look this year, this past year, there hasn't been too many games. I mean, look, there's obviously Call of Duty, and but that's, you know, kind of on the downfall. But there's not been too many other games besides GTA that has lasted, you know, a year and plus now. And I think, obviously, GTA on PC can last long. Red Dead will probably last long. Fallout 4, you know, with mods on PC, that'll last forever. I mean, like, Skyrim and even New Vegas is still, and that came out, like, uh, you know, years ago. And many people are still playing that today. So yeah, I'm going to be covering a lot of awesome games. I mean, obviously, it's mainly GTA until the next big game comes out. You know, that, that does wind up lasting and then many people play it. But it's definitely going to be a fun journey. And I'm just looking forward to it. So yeah, that's it with this episode of Monday Mailbox. Hope you guys enjoyed again. Like I said, if you want to ask a question, let me know in the comment section. Go ahead and drop a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.